Previously on Survivor LU, Dawson's immunity streak ended, but his luck continued. Praise be. Congratulations, you found the hidden immunity idol. Oh my gosh, I needed this so much. The Gihon Alliance got comfortable and let their guard down. This week should be a very easy vote. I mean, I, I can't imagine a ton going wrong. I'm a little nervous now because I know that I don't have that extra blanket of protection. While Ben worked behind the scenes to push the target. If Dawson plays now, I'd rather, like, Luke go out mm -hmm. and, like, this upcoming tribal. Dawson got his revenge by playing his idol and teaming up with Nicole and Nate to oust Luke. Seven are left. Who will be voted out next? Holy cats. Holy cats. Holy cats. <sighs> okay, tonight's vote felt so good. I'm like, why have I not been blindsided more people? This is amazing. Um, also, when I played the idol, man, I just, <sighs> I just get chills. So good. And like, part of the reason why I ended up choosing Luke is like, yes, I could potentially rally um, the others to um, vote Luke later on, but he had connections to Alexa, he had connections to Nathan, he was just kind of controlling everything, and so getting, I think I thought Alexa was the spearhead of it all, but um, she might be, she's a very big Gihan proponent, um, but I think Luke was the one instigating all of these um, votes, and so getting him out felt so good. Ah, uh, he played his idol, he was safe, and me, Nicole, and Dawson voted for Luke, and Luke went. <laughs> we didn't even need the help of original Gihan, we did it all on our own. You have to learn to expect the unexpected in this game. Crazy things happen at the last moment, and you just have to go with your gut, and that's what I did tonight, and I'm still here. Final seven. Yes! I freaking love this game! This is so fun! Yay! Luke is out of here! Bye, Luke! Wanted to take me to the end for not doing anything. Well, looks like we had to do something. And looks like he had to go. So sorry. Um, yes! I'm so happy! So, basically, what went down today was it started out with me texting Dawson really 15 minutes before the competition before tribal happened um, and we were just kind of like touching base again and I think that's when he said he was like listen I have something we all need to vote together tonight I have an idol I understand like the last minute aspect but like I was pretty pissed because I was like I need time to process this and if you actually wanted me to vote Luke I need at least an hour to like figure out what I'm gonna do. Luke literally could be anyone in the game. And so I'm glad that we were able to like step in and make that move. Yeah, I think that was also really good for my game because I think I can totally use that, form it into like a move that I made. My main concern and what I told Dawson was like, can we please at least tell Ben about this? Because anyone else on Gihon, like I don't care. I We haven't had a good relationship. But I don't want to ruin my relationship with Ben just for Dawson to stay another week. Um, and then I also texted Nate and Nicole that, so what's happening is like votes are being split with two on Nate's and then the rest on Dawson. And the reason for that would be so that they could know that uh, if they did band together with Dawson, if he did have an idol and vote Luke, that I didn't say that they should do that, but it was kind of like, what else would they have chose to do if they had that idol to make that play to remove someone? That they could put those three votes on Luke. While I was not directly responsible for that move, I was able to at least have some uh, helpful little like pushes, or ah, that was my model. Helpful little like uh, pushes in the right direction of what I think, uh, or what I want them to do in order to further my own position in the game and remove people that I personally don't want here. Okay, so I was crushed on Monday night when Luke went home because he was my number one alliance since the beginning of the game. Um, but it's also good because he was a big threat. So the problem is that our numbers are now down to four versus three. Luke completely blindsided by an unbelievable play by Dawson. Hands 
down, I think the best move of this game so far. He kept it secret. It was just a beautiful, beautiful move. It hurt my soul deeply. So it hurt. It hurt pretty bad, but I totally understand why he did it. It was, I'm glad it wasn't me. I was scared it could be, um, but it was a great move. You, will, you have all taken a survey with different questions and have answered with who you think best fits that question. We have tallied those answers and now you will answer each question with who you think the majority of the tribe answered with. Each time you get a question right, you receive one shot with the slingshot. Once the questioning portion is finished, you will each take turns shooting at different sized plates with differing point values. The player with the most slingshot points scored wins immunity. Everyone else vulnerable to be the next person voted out of Survivor LU Genesis. Alright, first question. Who do you trust most with your life? Everybody get your answers and we'll reveal on three, one, two, three, reveal. All right, Ben voted himself. Nathan, him, uh, Ben. Alexa, Dawson. Nicole, Ben. Liz, Ben. Nate, Dawson, and Dawson, Ben. The correct answer was? Ben. So that means Ben, oh, ben. Nathan, Nicole, Liz, and Dawson, I'll get a point. Alexa, uh, yeah, Alexa and Nate do not. Second question, who is the most beloved player? Ben votes Dawson, Nathan votes Dawson, Alexa Dawson, Nicole Dawson, Liz Dawson. <laughs> Everyone has voted Dawson, even Dawson and <laughs> <laughs> This would be embarrassing if you guys got it wrong, but you did not. Dawson is the correct answer. Everyone gets a point. Who would you least want to be stranded on a deserted island with? Oh. All right, let's reveal our answer. Oh. Ben me, said Alexa. <laughs> Nathan said Nate. Alexa said Nate. <laughs> Nicole, Nate, Liz, what? Nate. Not only because <laughs> Nate <laughs> said Liz and Dawson said <laughs> Nate. <laughs> the correct answer is Nate. Raise your hand if you got that right. Sorry, sorry. Everyone except like Nate and Ben gets a point. <laughs> All right, we have our fourth. Question, who is the dark horse in this game? Ben votes Nicole. Nathan votes Alexa. Alexa votes Nicole. Nicole votes Alexa. Liz votes Nicole. Nate votes Alexa and Dawson votes Nicole. The correct answer is Alexa. Raise your hand if you got that one right. So Nate, Nicole, and Nathan all get a point. Who mistakenly believes they are in control of this game? Ben votes for Nathan. Nathan votes for Nate. Alexa votes for Nathan. Nicole votes for Alexa. Liz votes for Nate. Nate votes for Nate. And Dawson votes for Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> correct answer. And Dawson is going to regret that decision. Was Alexa. The only person that gets it right is Nicole. Nicole. Adding to her tally. Alright, who is the most likely to make tribal council, final tribal council, and get the least amount of votes or no votes? Ben votes Liz. Nathan votes Nicole. Alexa votes Liz. Nicole votes Liz. Liz votes Liz. Nate votes Liz. <laughs> and Dawson votes Liz. The correct answer is Liz. Everyone except for Nathan gets a point. Who will be the most successful in 10 years? 
Ben votes for Ben. Nathan votes for Ben. Alexa votes for Ben. Nicole votes for Ben. Liz votes for Ben. Alexa. 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 Yeah, yeah, I should have wrote bigger. Nate votes for Alexa and Dawson votes for Alexa. The correct answer is the woman with her own book, yeah. Alexa. Raise your hand if you got it right. <laughs> Alright, so Nathan, Raise your hand if you got it. Uh, Nate, Dawson, and Liz, good. Not, not Nathan, not Nathan. The eighth question. If you were unable to win the game, who would you like to see win it? Ben votes for Dawson. Nathan, Dawson. Alexa, Dawson. Nicole, Ben. Liz, Ben. Nate, Ben. And Dawson votes for Ben. The correct answer is, in fact, Ben. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Dawson, Nate, <laughs> Liz, Liz, Nicole, all get a point. All right, question number nine. Coming up, who do you think submits the most confessional footage? <laughs> ben votes for Nate. Nathan votes for Nate. Alexa votes for Nathan. Nicole votes for Dawson. Liz votes for Nate. Nate votes for himself. And Dawson votes for Nate. The correct answer is Nate. Tenth question, who is the biggest fan of the actual show, Survivor? Ben says Nathan. Nathan says himself. Alexa says Nathan. Nicole says Nate. Liz says Nathan. Nate says Nathan. And Dawson says Nathan. And everyone but Nicole gets a point. It was Nathan. Okay. <laughs> How many shots you get? Ben gets four shots. Nicole still with her seven. Nathan with five. Nate with seven. Alexa with four. Liz with eight, Dawson with eight. Ben, you are up. Ben takes some fire for his first shot. Misses low. Ben hits the two. Two points. Results are in, everyone has taken their shots. Alright, so Dawson had eight shots, finishes with zero. Hey! <laughs> that was almost me. <laughs> Nate had seven shots, finishes with one point. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Alexa with four shots, finishes with two points. Wow. Liz with eight shots as well, one point. Yeah. Right now, Alexa in the lead with two. <laughs> Nicole with seven shots finishes with four points. Okay. Yeah, Nicole. Oh. In the lead. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> it's Luke in the background trying to get it. Nathan got five shots, ends with zero yeah. points. Hey, <laughs> <let's go. laughs> and Ben. Got four shots and four points. We have wow. a tie. Oh. Nicole and Ben will go to a sudden death shootout to find out who will win the meeting. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. And Ben is good to shoot. Ben takes aim and fires. Ben. I think he made a hole through it. With a two. Yeah. Nicole must hit a two or better to win this time. Nicole now takes aim and hits the tape and the bar, unable to do it. Ben wins immunity, safe from the State of Tribal Council, two individual immunity wins in a row. Right, Everyone ben. else bonus at the next Tribal Council. I want to show that like I can compete well in competitions 
And I was so close. Oh, uh, that sucks that it came down to sudden death. I'm at the point of the game where I need to pick my game up, and I think tonight did help that to give me like a move. I guess Ben was more of the one of the more ideal players to win just because it wasn't Alexa, it wasn't Dawson. I don't want Ben out next week, so I guess that's fine. So, um, Luke out, which leaves us with three original Tigress, four Yihan. So, it would kind of be clear that the original four Yihan take out the three Tigress, right? But Dawson at Tribal said something really interesting. He said, people need to reach out and actually make big moves and actually start talking to each other more. I critiqued the Gihans like lazy, lame, lousy gameplay. They're doing the exact same thing that they were getting on Tigris um, for potentially doing. And so I like gave that pitch um, and apparently it struck a, cur like a chord um, in Nathan. I don't know, it struck me um, to say the least. He knows he's a threat, but he's still willing to talk. And it, I don't know, something about that uh, gave me different feelings than anything before. After the challenge, me, Nathan, Ben, Nicole, and Nate went to Garbanzo, and we just talked, and Garbanzo is so good. Like, this quick plug for Garbanzo. I would eat there every day. So, so good. The Mediterranean garlic sauce on the pita chicken, chicken pita. <sighs> ah, I could just eat it. Um, but anyway, so... <clears throat> After that, we like all parted our ways. I'm like, well, I'm gonna go to the grid. The grid's still open and I'm just gonna grab a snack. And he was like, oh, do you wanna go to the grid? And, I was, and Nathan said that and I was like, sure. And then we walk outside the grid and Nathan's like, hey, what you said tonight at tribal council um, was just so good for me to hear. And like, if I get to the end, um, it'll be by the grace of my alliance of Gihan. Um, and he's like, and I won't have deserved to win. And I genuinely believe that he's being honest. I started talking about how we could kind of see each other working with each other. I was like, I'm totally down to do that. Cause yeah, you're a big threat, but I think if I aligned with a big threat and then took them out later in the game, that would look really good for my personal gameplay. But when you said that, I was like, that's very true. Cause it, it is gonna be a boring game. I'm like, that's why I think this should, we could make something in between that no one sees coming, which I think would be really cool. Right, and because you were the one to actually like go against mm -hmm. like the expected, like that would be a resume builder for exactly. your game too, but like. And yours. Yeah, that's true. Um, I just don't know who to bring in that would go with her. Liz might do it, but I think she knows that. Uh, Liz might. Like, yeah. Liz kept saying, I'm so glad that you're here. And I was like, I was like, that's kind of no offense. Like, it's kind of bizarre. I think she's willing to make a big move, especially with the thing that said, like, she's not making a big move. I love the competition. It's Alexa. She got the one for the person that thinks they're running the whole game, but they're not. That is so funny. And that's so Alexa, too. Like, is she having a mental breakdown right now? They voted me last person they would want to be stuck on a deserted island with. Like, what is up with that? Like, I feel like I would be better at, like, building a shelter and starting a fire and finding food than most of the people on the that are left in this game. It was a weird way to start out that challenge, just to have that knowledge that that's how they feel about me. <laughs> no harm done, but... I mean, come on guys, really? I'm the most beloved in the game, which is so good to hear also, like, I'm beloved. <laughs> um, I severed my connection with Nicole completely at that challenge. Uh, when the question was asked, who do you think would make it to the end but not get any votes? I was the only person that said Nicole. Nathan thought that I was gonna get zero votes, which I don't care, Nathan sucks anyway. It, it's never fun to, sever a tie with another player in the game, especially when there's only seven left. Um, the questions at the last tribal kind of um, brought some things to light. I knew that people would think that I'm not going to get votes in the end, but that's only because they don't know I'm the one who gave the idol to Nathan. And yeah, I'm not, I wasn't surprised by that. I was actually kind of happy because I know I don't have a target on my back at all. Um, but I definitely do know that I need to make some moves coming up. So Nathan and I, 
we're talking and then we met up with Dawson all together. Um, so I tried to get Bennett because I would give him a solid four, which would be perfect, you know? But he does not want to do it all. He wants to get Dawson out completely, <laughs> like 100. Oh, yeah. So if we take out Nate this week, we literally have majority. Because Nicole would have to Nicole no would one. have to work with us. Yeah. We could literally, we could take out Ben if he were to lose. So it is a risky vote this week because that's why four is perfect because it guarantees we have majority. Yeah. We still have majority, think... but it's a 3-2-2 two, two, two vote. So what we have to do, is ben... if we get Nate and Nicole to vote one person, we get Ben and Alexa to vote another, then we, we're good. That's 2-2 that's, 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 two, 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 and yeah. then us. And yeah. us three. So as long as that happens, we're good. But... So okay, Ben's we, obviously gonna we can get Ben and Alexa to vote Dawson very but easily. Nate... Just say he on four. Like we can do that. Very I don't know easy. what Nate's gonna. That's what we. That's what we got. That's what. Because Nate did say it straight up. Like, that's. And I'm weird. pretty sure he texted me while I was in class and said something about voting you. So like what? Yeah. If, or like it's clearly to vote Nate, uh, Dawson now. That's unbelievable. Like, okay. Well, once if we once if once this happens, once if you two act like you flop with Nate and Nicole and act like you're gonna make a four person alliance. To vote out. I don't know. Yeah. But, okay. I know, I know. but you're not. You're not. You're blindsided. You're yeah. saying you're going to and just so we, we can get the votes on them. Alexa. So then we get Nate and Nicole to vote for Alexa. Ben and Alexa vote for Dawson. We vote for Nate. And he goes. We're gonna make it so that Ben and Alexa think we're both. So think that me and Liz are with Ben and Alexa voting for Dawson. So Dawson would get two votes in that scenario. Then Dawson is gonna pull Liz over to think Nate and Nicole are voting for Alexa. So two votes on Dawson, two votes on Alexa, and then me, Liz, and Dawson vote Nate out for a three, two to two vote. Well, hello, Survivor LU. One of you again, whoop whoop. Really happy about that. I do think that people see me as a threat to win the game, which does kind of suck, honestly, because again, people are going to see a threat at one point or another. Um, but I think it's out in the open that like people do see me as a major contender to win the game, which does concern me. At the same time though, if we get Dawson out this week, he was the primary, I guess, challenge contestant for me. Um, I think I would have a very good chance at possibly winning out. Ben, answer I think the least correct and won the challenge in a, in a face-off overtime match against Nicole. He, he's an unbelievable player, so friendly, so kind. It showed that he is now the biggest threat in this game, even over Dawson. Uh, he would beat anyone at, in any circumstance at any final tribal, I thoroughly believe that. Um, which is great, because I'd love to see Ben win, but obviously I want to win as well. So um, I think he'd beat anyone. And then if Ben doesn't win immunity on Thursday, then we gotta vote Ben out, unfortunately, even though I trust him 100%. And Ben Lincoln, that's why he's so, so scary, because he, he could win out, no joke. He's good at everything. He's good at endurance, obviously. He's good at speed. He's good at uh, smarts. Uh, he's good at aiming. I mean, unless it's a pure puzzle, I don't know. I don't know who could beat him. That's why it's scary. Ben is kind of enemy number one, which kills me to say. But. If we do make, if I lose the um, upcoming immunity challenge or the final like five immunity challenge, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build like a fake idol, bring my uh, note from the start of the game to tribal and say, like I sat on this the entire game. Last night, Liz, Dawson, and Nicole and I met up because Lil Liz is desperate to make a move after um, that challenge where she was voted um, most likely to get to the end and get no votes. So she's, she is trying to make moves now that'll earn her that win, which is which is great. I mean, sure, if it helps us. And Dawson's completely on board because he knows that he's like the next target. There's no way we're not voting Dawson this week. It's crazy though, because like this might be our actual, if we don't do this this week, Liz will just go back to them and they just, just might pick us off instead. But Ben's dangerous, Dawson's dangerous, Alexa's dangerous. Yeah. And I feel like if we have a chance to get rid of Alexa this week, then we would be more in control of the like the our own game if we pick off Dawson when we want rather than when they want. You know? But Dawson's the player that like we literally cannot be. I know, it's I know. Like but Ben Ben's getting like, to that point too. Ben's getting super dangerous and he's likable too. We get Dawson out this week. Everyone will want Alexa next week. We don't know that for sure though. Like, they might still try to pick us off. 
Like if Liz if Liz goes against them this week and they need to pull her back in, she'll do whatever they want. It won't matter. Like the fact that she still wants Alexa out. So that's she'll be in a vulnerable position. You know? But why is that good that she's just gonna go back to them next week? No, I'm saying if we vote with Liz and Dawson this week to get rid of Alexa, she'll feel like she's made a move of some kind. And then we just get rid of Dawson with Nathan and Ben the following week. And if, it's, if he win. wins, then we get rid of Ben instead. Like, if we can break up that alliance at all, it'll be good yeah. for us. It just scares me because, like, I try to work with people that I trust as much as I can, which is why, like, I like Ben over Nathan. Because, like, Ben's a big threat, but I at least trust him more than Nathan. I trust Ben, but I can't have him at the end of the movie. Yeah. Like, that's too dangerous. It's scary. He's like, he's like the next person after Dawson who's gonna win. But Nicole and I are willing to take this risk. I am so close to the end at this point. I can just see the steps I need to take. I need to pick off Ben. I need to pick off Alexa in order to get myself to a place where I can win. And, you know, I could probably still win over Alexa, I think. But to be safe, I do want her out. Um, clearly this week, the smartest thing we can do is vote out Dawson. He is definitely, definitely the biggest threat. He's won immunity, he's won challenges, he's found idols, he's played them correctly, he's played people, his strategy game is brilliant. So on all of the different sides to outwit, outplay, and outlast, Dawson is the biggest threat. Like, I personally, like, would rather vote Dawson over Nate, just because, like, Dawson, I feel like if he wins out, he would get quite a few votes. He's winning this but... one. Like, as long as they stick together, like, we're pretty much good to go. We can take out Dawson and then take out, like, Nate the week after. But at this point, it doesn't make sense to vote anyone other than Dawson. Exactly. Logically, there is no reason not to vote Dawson. It's the most obvious vote. It kind of sucks. Yeah. But, like, like I said, tribal, sometimes the most obvious is the best. No, right. So as long as nobody from our four flips and no one plays an idol, Dawson should go home tonight. Again, Dawson is my biggest threat in terms of challenges and I would rather not have to, and he's also a threat to win the game, which is why I'd rather have him out now than later. And again, I could lose to him later in a challenge, and then yeah, I get voted out, which would suck butt cheeks. As of right now, this is how I expect the votes to go. I expect Ben and Alexa to vote me. Um, I expect Nathan and Liz to, to vote Nate um, because they told me they were going to um, and they want me to vote Nate with them. Um, then depending on Nate and Nicole's loyalty to the plan um, and to me, I either expect them to vote me because um, they're stupid um, or they'll vote two votes on Alexa. So we have a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I think tonight I'm gonna have to trust Nathan and Liz and I think I'm gonna have to vote um, Nate out. Even though that will screw my relations with Nicole. I literally had nightmares last night. Um, I like kept waking up, going back to bed, waking up, going back to bed because every time I'd wake up and go back to bed I'd dream of another scenario um, in the worst case that would happen with it. There's a big chance that I could go home tonight. There's also a big chance that Nate could go home tonight. Um, it really all depends. It's dependent on how Nathan and Liz will vote because if they're thinking Dawson's a big threat, let's just get him out of the game, then I'm, I'm screwed. Whatever happens tonight, it's gonna definitely change how things go in this game and I can't predict everything that's gonna happen, but I can just hope that it'll be beneficial for me in the end. Bring in the jury. Ellie, MJ, and Luke.
put it out at the last minute. That's a <laughs> Back again on a short week. Not much time like most weeks. So Alexa, how has it been a little bit different this week with only a few days to strategize and get ready? I think a lot of the dynamic has been the same, but there's also been a little bit more of a rush, obviously, and probably a little more panic because there's not as much time to examine and like look back at the plan without being rushed. Um, and there's also not as much time to meet with people or look for idols. And so there seems to be fewer factors that play into it, but it's still the same amount of stress. Dawson, last week we saw you play the idol and you played it correctly. Well done. They don't always do that. Uh, what are you doing this week to save yourself to make sure you're not on the chopping block tonight? You know, I was asking myself the same question. Uh, <laughs> um, What's your pitch? My pitch? For what? To stay in. You put me on the chopping block. What's your pitch? Well, let's see. <laughs> At this point, I have played a very, very good game. Um, if you look at the statistics, you can see, yes, I have won challenges. Yes, I am voted the most beloved person in the game. <laughs> yes, I did play an idol correctly. And besides that, um, I think everyone at this point is a threat in the game. And um, at this point, since there are so few weeks remaining um, before Thanksgiving break and before we crown the winner, um, I think like like I, I like the whole um, the whole. Um, theme of this Survivor season is like Genesis, but also I feel like the subtitle is lame. Like, <laughs> um, like I feel like we keep bringing back the the idea that nobody's making big moves, nobody's building a resume. And um, yes, I have made a big move. Yes, I built a resume. And yes, that makes me scary. But at the same time, some people could say, "Hey, I haven't." And in order for me to make a big move, I need to use you. And so that's kind of where I'm at. I'm very honest, I'm very loyal about what I'm saying, and um, yeah, I'm open to work, and um, at this point I'm pretty sure people's ideas are locked in who they're voting tonight, and, um, but yeah, there's my little plea um, for a last second say, so, yeah. All right, Nate, tonight I, there is an opportunity to go back to a 3-3 a three -three for tribal lines. Do you think, is that tempting? Do you think that will even happen? I mean, there's not much like original tigers can do to make that happen. It's mostly just a matter of someone from the original behind doing something to make that happen. I don't have much faith that that's going to happen, but it could. I'm always open to surprises, so if someone wants to do something, why not? And Nicole, we only have three tribals left till final tribal council. We're getting so close. Uh, so how do you continue to keep level-headed and move forward uh, as we get so close to the end? Um. I think it's definitely hard. I think earlier in the game, it's really easy to focus on the first, like the tribal that's that week. And so I think everyone's just been trying to think not just this vote, but multiple votes ahead and how that's going to play out about how like we're specifically going to get to the end. So I guess just you know, like talking with people and trying to plan out how you can get to the end and try to build your resume. So let's talk about the challenge. A uh, pretty controversial challenge with a lot of different uh, ideas and perceptions of people. So Liz, you were voted most likely to make it to the end to get no votes. What does that make you want to do in this game going forward? Yeah, so that was definitely like a wake up call I'd say because, I mean, one piece of the game is, you know, survive, but the other piece is to like actually make moves. So um, it's definitely something that I've been thinking about this week, just being honest. Um, but. Yeah, because I don't, what's the point of making it to the end if you're not going to win, you know? Ben, how did you feel when you found out that if your uh, tribe mates couldn't win, that they'd want you to win? I mean, I was honored that they uh, chose me, because um, like, I thought it would be like Dawson, and I personally voted for like Dawson, but like, to see like five people say like, yeah, I would want like Ben to win, it's like, I, like, I was happy to see that, and also at times it makes me scared, because then it's like, oh, if they, like, would, everyone sees that, oh, they want Ben to win, then it's, you know, that makes me a target, and if I, like, don't win immunity, like, uh, this upcoming challenge, then I could potentially get voted out next tribal. Nate, why would you be so bad to be stranded on an island with? I have no <laughs> idea. I feel like I'd be a much better provider than, like, some of the people here, so I don't know what that was based off of, but... Yeah. So Alexa, according to your tribe, you mistakenly think you're in control of this game. 
<laughs> perception was what this challenge is all about. Perception is a lot of this game. How do you think the perception that your tribe has on you will affect your game moving forward? Um, I think it's interesting because I was voted the, the person who thinks they're in control of the game but isn't. But I was also voted the dark horse. And I don't know how those two go together, how people would see me as a threat but also don't think I'm in control of the game. And I think for the record, it's stupid to think you're ever in control of the game and that's when you get blindsided. Um, and so I would disagree with that. But I also think that it's caused kind of that confusion, I think, for me of like, how do people really perceive me? Do they see me as a threat? Do they see me as this person who thinks I'm in control but has no power? Um, and so I think it's been something that it hasn't affected my gameplay necessarily, <coughs> but it has made me start to think of like how people would see me should I make it to final three, of um, kind of this confusion between like how do people really see me, where do I need to beef up my game, does it mean making more obvious moves, does it mean sitting back so that it doesn't seem like I'm in control, it could go a million different ways in that area. Um, so I think this week it's been more of like a pondering than actually taking action steps, but we'll see how that plays out in the future. It's in this game is a lot about self-awareness seeing how people view you, being self-aware enough to know what moves you need to make, who you need to sit with at the end. What is self-awareness? How does it affect your game so far? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm very self-conscious as a person just like in life, so it's actually been huge for me. Uh, just thinking about how I'm, you know, I mean, like how others are thinking of me, I think that's a huge, huge part of Survivor. Um, because if you don't, if you just go out there and you don't have that perception, then people, I think, can see it as you're way too much and, like, you don't care about actual, genuine connections. So you do need to, like, you don't want, but then in the end, on the other side, if you think too much, you'll start thinking too much in your brain, and then that will lead to all sorts of stuff. Uh, paranoia is huge in this game. So it's, it's, a, it's a delicate balance, it really is, um, but you have to think about both. With that, it's time to go. Alrighty, here we go again. But yeah, thank you for getting rid of Luke for me. I really do appreciate it. That's Vidanya, my friend, and I hope you vote for me on the jury. deja vu and a dream that is not ending. I really hope you go home because you're the biggest threat. You've outwitted, you've outlasted, and you've outplayed all of us. I hope this works. <laughs> Anyone has a hidden immunity idol would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Alright, I'll read the list. First up, Dawson. Second up, Dawson. Two votes, Dawson. Third vote, Nate. It's two votes, Dawson. One vote, Nate. Fourth vote, Dawson. Fourth move of our jury, Dawson, come get your torch. Dang it, I didn't want to make the glove one visit. <laughs> Dawson, your tribe is spoken. So exciting! <laughs> good job, guys. Good job, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Obviously, this sucks a buttload. As soon as I won two in a row, I was like, shoot, I screwed myself over. Good play on their part. Nathan um, convinced me that he was on my side. Liz convinced me she was on uh, my side. I knew I shouldn't have fell for it because I trusted them the last time and they screwed me over with Luke. Um, but it feels somewhat right to be voted out of this game. So like, I came in because I love Survivor. Um, but then, like, as I was going, I was like, you know, these are genuine people. Being voted out and, like, being able to talk with these people that I haven't seen in forever is just feels so good. <laughs> and, like, I know that I played the best I could. Next time on Survivor LU. The survivors take to the ice to slip and slide their way to immunity. 
Accusations of lame gameplay make tensions rise. If you did this, this is just going to be stupid. Not only lame, but stupid. Ben works to shake up the game in a big way. Welcome to idol building with Ben. And a dramatic tribal council flips the game on its head.